you've probably heard the term chipset tossed around when thinking about new CPUs, but then what exactly is a chipset? Also how does it affect your CPU's performance? Back in the times of old computer, PC motherboards consisted of tons of separate integrated circuits. This commonly required a separate chip or else chips to switch each system component, mouse, keyboard, graphics, sounds, and so on. You've probably As heard can imagine, taking all those various chips scattered about was pretty inefficient. With the aim of solve this problem, computer engineers required to develop You've a better system, in addition began integrating these disparate chips hooked on smaller amount of chips. By the advent of the PCI bus, an innovative design developed, bridges. Instead of a lot of chips, motherboards came with the North Bridge and also with South Bridge, which consisted of just two chips by very exact duties and purposes. A chipset is exactly designed for a motherboard. The chipset besides motherboard must be compatible through the CPU to avoid system failover. The Northbridge chip was identified as such for the reason that it was positioned at the uppermost, or northerly, part of the motherboard. This chip was directly connected to the microprocessor then acted as a communication middleman for a system's sophisticated speed components, RAM, PCI Express controller, also on older motherboard designs, the AGP controller. If these components required to ping to the CPU, they had to drive over the North Bridge first. The North Bridge handles a computer's faster communication requirements then controls communication among the CPU, RAM, ROM, the basic input, output system, the accelerated graphics port, AGP, then the South Bridge chip. The North Bridge links I.O. signals directly to the CPU, the South Bridge, which is not directly linked to the microprocessor is also called as the input output controller hub southbridge handles the motherboard's slower networks including input output io devices also computer peripherals like expansion slots and hard disk drives dots such as the pci bus slots for expansion cards sata and ide connectors for hard drives usb ports onboard audio and networking and more these chips derived to be known as a chipset, for the reason that it was exactly a set of chips, 